Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is Elder R. L. Dunlap Jr. Coming up to you one more time with the only infallible, the only uncompromising, the only unadulterated written word of God. We greet you from God the Father and from His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus Christ, the Father sent His Son, Jesus, into the world to take your sin away, to turn you from your iniquity, from your sin, telling us to repent, believe on him, be born again or watch in spirit. Yeah, you know you ask him for that. Hmm? Call on him so you'll be saved, saved from your sin. Jesus blooded for the remission of sin, at Matthew 26, 26. He died on the cross for our transgression to take away our transgression. To forgive us our sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. At 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. And look at Peter 2, 24. Jesus is coming back again. He said, be ready. And the one day of Noah, a day of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. In the day of Noah, they were eating, drinking, married, giving and married. And they were evil. They were evil. Their imagination and their thoughts were evil continually. Genesis 6. Sin is evil. Jesus told that woman and that man, go and sin no more. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Jesus said, he that commits sin to the servant of sin. Hallelujah. Jesus said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That truth is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, will free you from the bondage of sin. And sin shall have no more dominion over you. You don't have to obey sin. You don't have to obey your father, the devil. But you obey Jesus. Follow him. He'll fill you with the Holy Ghost, give you his spirit, give you his nature. All right. Let me make this announcement. After this, later on today, it's about 11.20 but later on today I, I, I imagine somewhere along about 5 o'clock <clears throat> we will deal with a subject is it okay to preach using notes is it okay to preach using a manuscript is it okay to write out your sermon we're going to deal with that. Also in that, we're going to deal with homiletics. Seminary. <clears throat> we're going to show you that that's man. That's not of God. That's a man. A lot of information we're going to cover. Stay tuned later. All right. <clears throat> there are those that say, God is with you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He'll be with you always. No matter what you've done, you, you can't go no, you can't do too much to where God cannot reach you. You can't do too much where God will throw you away. Well, they told you a lie. They lied to you. They lied to you. Let's see who he will be with always. Let's see who that is. He'll, he'll be with always. All right, Matthew 28. Let's see who, who is that. He'll be with always. Matthew 28. Matthew 28. And verse 19. Go ye therefore, teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. 
Teacher Neil to observe all things what I commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Who is he talking about? The one that preaching. The one that baptizing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. The one that teaching them to observe whatever things Jesus commands you. That's who he would always. Even to the end of the world. As long as you do that. <laughs> All right. All right. Now. You say God never, God never, who can separate me from the love of God? Can't nobody separate you and God and you doing God's will. Can't nobody separate you and God and you doing God's will. Can't nobody or no thing separate you from doing God's will, stop you from doing God's will. Nobody. You doing God's will, nobody can stop you. Nobody can pluck you out of Jesus' hand. You doing this weird? Can't nobody stop you from doing this weird. Can't nobody stop God from loving you if God be for you. Nobody can stop that. Uh -huh. Go to second. But if, if you're not doing this weird, one verse say, your sin have separated you between you and your God. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 11. Well, we better begin with verse number 7. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. The mystery of iniquity is already working. Already. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Let that come along with the mark of the beast and all that. But the nigger is already wicked, just like Antichrist is already. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy the brightness with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power, signs, and line wonder and with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they may be saved. You didn't receive the truth? Here's what God going to do for you. For this call, God shall sit, God going to send you Send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but have pledged in righteousness. You had a good time sinning and disobeying God and breaking his commandment, talking about you ain't puppy, ain't nobody puppy. Oh, you had a good time. God gonna send you a strong delusion so you can believe a lie. And here's the lie you believe, it ain't nobody puppy. We see it every day, we fall short every day. That's the lie you believe in. If you hear when the beast come, you're going to believe that lie. And you're going to take them all. That's the lie you believe. You believe that lie right now. Ain't nobody perfect. Ain't nobody without sin. We see it every day, we fall short every day. That's not right to know, not one. You believe that lie right now. You don't see the truth that tell you to repent. Turn from your sin. Go and sin no more. Oh, you don't believe that. You don't believe that. You believe lie. Ain't nobody got no heaven to help with you in. Uh, you might be having a good time in unrighteousness because you believe those lies. But here, what he going God go send you a strong delusion that you should believe that lie. Keep believing the lie that, ye, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth. But had pledged in unrighteousness. Go to all the way to God be angry. Here believe in baptized shall be saved. Here believe not shall be damned. That's Mark 16. In John 15, every branch that don't bear fruit, he taketh away. Jesus said that. 
Yes, he will get rid of you. I'll spew you out of my mouth. Yes, he will get rid of you. I'll remove the candlestick. Yes, he will get rid of you. Yes, he will leave you. Keep acting a fool. Keep disobeying. Yes, he is going to leave you. They're going to cause you to believe a lie. Some of y'all believe in that lie already. That's why you're still sinning. And y'all fight the truth instead of saying, well, I'm not ready to live a lie. You fight it. Yes, he will get rid of you. Wait. I got to follow the leading of the Holy Ghost. I want to bring a revelation. Twenty-two nineteen. If any man shall take away from the words of the book of their prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life. God going to take your name out of the book of life. Yes, he will get rid of you. He'll take your name out of the book. Smarty, Mr. Big Stuff, Miss Thane, Bishop First Lady, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Well, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Yes, he will get rid of you. It's not what I want. But there's a couple of more scriptures dealing with your name being blotted out of the book of life. Yes, God will get. Yes, God will. Yes, God will get rid of you. Revelation three five. Don't believe these lies these preachers telling you. Revelation 3 5. Don't play with God. Revelation 3 5. Look at what Jesus said. Who's he that overcometh? Overcome all, all the evil, all the false prophets, all the opposition, all the persecution, all the tribulation. He that overcometh. The same. Shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot his name out of the book of life if you overcome. If you don't overcome, then what gonna happen? Your name gonna be blotted out. Yet God will get rid of you. Yes, He will. He'll spew you out of his Jesus will spew you out of his mouth. All right, that's enough. Yes, he will get rid of you. Repair of your sin, people. Keep Jesus commanded. Be born again. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Cry out to him to save you. Take away your sin. Fill you with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Continue to obey his word. Do his will. Jesus is coming back again. All right. Thank you for it.